Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today, I'm going to do a um, Have You Heard um, video. So basically, I've already listened to this hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. But I do want to share it with the channel. And as you can see, I'm wearing an Iron Maiden t-shirt. I got it from uh, from Alexia's sister. And I'm super happy about it. I'm, I'm super stoked. I, 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 I was like, I... I have to do a Iron Maiden reaction, uh, but it's more like a share, you know, it's uh, more like a video where I want to share how awesome Iron Maiden is because a lot of people here in the chat, um, here in the chat, here in the channel, listen to, you know, Deep Purple and Led Zeppelin and, you know, Uriah Heep, then Lizzie, but uh, Iron Maiden kind of gets left out and I just want to, you know, introduce you how awesome they are, you know, I mean, Iron Maiden is in, in this, I think, place for uh, people, not even my age, because I, they're too old, um, I mean, the early stuff, when I talk about the early stuff, it's too, I was too small to listen to this, uh, but um, then, like, in the 2000s, I was like, oh my god, this band, so, uh, but just people that are, like, right now maybe in their 50s and 60s kind of like missed iron maiden and uh, i don't know why but i'm i just have seen a lot of um um people mentioning like oh this is kind of cool like but i don't really know them you know or i skipped them totally and people that listen to rush and progressive rock so i'm i wanted to play a song from uh, their second album from 1981 called Killers and we're going to play the title uh the title track and uh it it's just a very cool song and I just wanted to share it it is kind of proggy but it has really cool elements that I've always loved uh from the early stuff this is for, from the first vo vocalist who left the band after this album um and uh before Bruce Dickinson and this is also like the Iron Maiden that I kind of like um because it was still they were not super famous they were just you know starting out uh so this is Paul Diano on the vocals it has Dave Murray on guitar it already has here uh my favorite uh Iron Maiden guitarist Adrian Smith on guitar and Steve Harris on bass and this still had Clive Burr on the drums. Uh, he left the band after a number of the beast. They replaced him for Nick McBrain. So um yeah, so I do know uh, a lot of Iron Maiden. Um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Have you heard? And uh, let's go. Let's get on with it. And I hope you enjoy. I will pause during the video, uh, just uh, so Iron Maiden record company doesn't take it down. So. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. And...
so I, I totally forgot to pause. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, you know, it's not so bad if I choose the video um, and it gets taken down. I don't feel so bad because I mean, I just chose it. Nobody requested it. Nobody paid for it. I feel fine. Um, I wanted you, I already know what I'm going to say. I don't have to pause. I know this inside out. I used to play this song actually. Um, so I didn't think it was necessary. If it gets taken down, then I can always put it up on, on, um, on Patreon. But what I wanted to, I just want you to hear the solos, double guitar, the bass. It's just like, it reminds me a lot of Rush. When I started listening to Rush, um, when, uh, when we started the channel, it reminded me a lot of Iron Maiden. I, I think Iron Maiden took a lot from, from, I, I think Steve Harris took a lot from Geddy Lee. And um, and it has a certain progressiveness to the album. Maybe not as strong as Yes or Genesis, or, or but maybe in the terms of Rush, um, maybe the, the time signatures are not that off and they're not that syncopated, but it still is there and it just sounds really cool and it sounds like heavy metal, you know, like from the 80s. And although Rush is more... I mean, it's metal, but it's more progressive rock, you know. But I mean, um, you know, I don't want to compare them too much because they are very different. But I think Iron Maiden is a fantastic band. If you're into bands like Rush, you know, um, and Judas Priest or, you know, Black Sabbath. Um, even though there's a feud going on that I just knew, like found out about that between... Ozzy Osbourne, uh, more like Ozzy Osbourne's wife and, and Bruce Dickinson, just uh, very dramatic. I think it's very unnecessary, you know, it's all music. But uh, I hope you did enjoy, you know, listen to the track. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think this track deserved, you know, a little video. I'm going to make it really short. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed it, you know, let me know. And, um, and uh, I was happy to be here for you guys. And you have a wonderful rest of your night or day or afternoon or wherever you are. Take care.